Hey, this is Joe with Gray Bench Electronics. This is the first video in the two band build series. In this video, we're gonna go over the layout program I use, which is DIY LC. And you will see there the two band laid out. And from that, we will get a layout template or a drilling template, which I will print out. It's gonna be in multiple pieces. We'll tape that together. And then we will apply it to this chassis that I had made for me. Uh, and uh, it will give us an idea of where our components are gonna lay. We'll do a little bit of measuring, a little bit of marking. Uh, punch out the holes and then we'll be ready for drilling. So let's head over and have a look at DIY LC. Okay, so this is DIY LC. This is the layout program I use when I'm making a tube amp. Um, it's good for any kind of uh, analog through hole uh, or point to point projects like terminal strips or turret boards. It's good for that. Uh, there is some options for uh, solid state or surface mount stuff, but um, that's what I mostly use it for at least. Uh, so this is the tube amp we're making. Now in typical me fashion, I did the whole thing backwards. Uh, so the actual build is going to be mirrored from this. Um, but this gives the idea, in fact, I actually, I exported as a PDF and just mirrored it here. So this is what the amp will actually look like. So yeah, just a couple things with the IYLC. The way I laid this out is these panels at the top, these are the, the front and back of the amplifier. Uh, just laid them out so we can see where the connections are going. But you have to be cautious because the you know these pots they have depth and so they're going to come into the chassis a certain amount so like this terminal strip here for example um, that's mounting the tone stack that may not be that far pushed into the corner in fact it almost definitely won't be it'll be probably out here a little bit just to be accessible so to make our drilling template i'm not going to grab all the stuff here uh, because the exact position of the terminal strips can be a bit like you have to count, uh, you know, account for a whole bunch of factors if you want to get that exact, and I, I rarely do, and so I'm not going to actually drill out or use this as a template for the mounting the terminal strips. Um, but what I am going to grab is like the the power transformer, the reverb and the filter chokes, uh, the or say reverb transformer and the filter chokes, the can capacitors, output transformer. Um, I may do, or, well, I'm definitely going to do the tube sockets, but I may also do the uh, potentiometers at some point. I'm just going to take those into their own DIY LC project and take this uh, and then print this out at 100% scale. Uh, it'll print out a couple pieces of paper, like a poster setup, and then cut them out and tape them together, and that'll be our template. Okay, so here is the template we printed out from DIY LC. Uh, this is just showing us sort of uh, where all the major components are going to lay out. I have done a little bit of measuring. Um, you could do this in the program, but I prefer to do it by hand just because it's, I don't know, it's nice to do some measuring by hand. Um, so we have marked the power transformer. I did decide that I'm going to move the power transformer up to the center of the, cha center of the chassis as opposed to having it offset down this way. I was thinking I want to have some extra room up here for uh, your for my LED indicator, not LED, but um, for my neon indicator and for my power switch. Um, but that gave too little room down here for the fuse holder. So I'm going to move it up and uh, I think that'll still leave enough room for the, the uh, lamp, for the indication lamp and the power switch. It'll give me enough room for the fuse switch and it'll look nice because it's nice and even. Uh, we got the Center is marked out, uh, obviously. So this um, this box was actually the size of the outer uh, iron of the transformer, but we need to mark the inside mounting holes for the transformer, so I did that. And centers for the can capacitors. Gonna wait on the transformers. Got the centers marked on the tube sockets. And same thing over here for the output transformer. So here is the chassis I had made. Uh, so this was made by a seller on Reverb named uh, Synaptic Amplification. Uh, they use like nice, it's about uh, 16 gauge or so aluminum it looks like. I'll double check that. Uh, and it's all folded. They punched out the IEC uh, receptacle hole for me, which is nice. Uh, they can punch out the transformer holes for Z-mount like we're going to do, but they didn't have the punches for or you know whatever they weren't able to punch for my size transformers so we're gonna have to do all the, the cutting of the big hole for the z-mount transformer z-mount just means that the transformer are going to sit flush 
to the bottom, the, the bell of the transformer is going to be going through the chassis. I like that because it's a little more secure. It just looks, you know, a little more vintage, a little uh, neater. So we're going to do Z-mount transformers, power transformer, output transformer. So take our template here. We still in frame, yeah. So we're just laying this out here. Um, so we need this. And we need a little bit of like low adhesive tape or low tack tape. Just using painter's tape. A couple pieces of that. Like so. Four pieces will probably do you. Uh, and you want to get this as close as possible. Um, the, the more time you spend here or the more accurate you get here with mounting this piece, the better it will look. Um, so what I do here is I look at the corners and I try to get the corners to match each other if I'm looking down on them. So I'm going to look at each of the corners like so. And when I feel good about how it looks, I'll hold that piece down, take a piece of tape, apply it to there, and then fold that over the side like that. Make sure we're still tensioned and straight. Up the edge here. Apply another piece here, like that, and then do a couple on the edges as well. Lost my tape somewhere, maybe. Okay, that like that. So now I have my template attached to my chassis. Uh, at the next step, there's a the piece of tape. Suck my arm. Uh, so the the next step is moving on to drilling. So I'm going to save that for the next step. But uh, so here we've applied the template to the chassis. And remember that if you're looking at your template, you might be looking at the inside of your um, at the inside of your amplifier. But remember, this is the outside. So that's the inside. So yeah. So that is applying the template to the chassis. All right, so we had a look at DIY LC, our layout program. From that, we got a template. We print that out and applied it to our chassis. Uh, so the next step here is going to be uh, making automatic center punches for the drill holes. And we are also going to uh, drill out those holes and also make the holes for the bell of the transformers for the Z-mount mounting uh, in the next episode. So uh, if you want to see that happen, uh, hit the subscribe button and the uh, notification bell uh, and you will get a notification when that video comes out. So again, I'm Joe from Great Bench Electronics. Thanks for watching.